stop making up that bullshit as excuse about why you're not showing up for your strong friends. Your, your strong friends need love and support too. Your strong friends need encouragement too. Your strong friends need people to show up for them the same way they show up for everybody else. Nine times out of 10, if you're the strong friend or if you have a strong friend and the type of love and the type of support and encouragement that that friend gives out to you is the exact type of support and love that that friend wants, needs, and expects in return. So stop creating this narrative or this belief that because they're strong, you thought that they didn't need that they didn't need help or that they didn't want help. I grieve the same way you grieve. My heart can be broken just like yours. I can become depressed just like you. I can be sad and cry real tears just like you. Break that broken ass narrative. But you know what I found out? The reason why a lot of people say that they don't know how to or that they um that they don't show up for the strong friends because they too busy being jealous and envious. They're jealous of the fact of you being who the fuck you are. And so they spend so much time thinking about the fact that they thought that you thought that you was better than them. Right. And then so they sit around and think about all the different ways of how you think that you're better than them and how you think you're perfectionist and a know it all and all these different kind of things. And so it leaves not enough time for them to actually sit and think about the things that you actually want and need. Right. Just like in the show, um, the the TV, the miniseries, the final chapters from Best Man Holiday, Harper was going through his divorce with his wife and his friends showed the fuck up at his goddamn house without fucking question. They brought the table. They brought the cards. They brought the, the, the booze to drink. They brought the food. They set everything up without saying not two fucking words to that man. And they sat down at the goddamn table and they said, Harp, we need a fourth. And he brought his ragged ass over there and he sat down at the fucking table and guess what the fuck his other strong ass friends did. They made him laugh and got out, helped him get out of his fucking head and get out of his depression and help him to begin to take steps towards moving forward. Stop creating this narrative or this belief that because your friend is strong then that somehow means that they don't need love or support them motherfuckers are human just like you so bullshit get your head out of your fucking ass get out of your insecurities get out of your intimidations get out of your fears and stop fucking i'm not even gonna speak on that anyway listen to me if you're the strong friend and you have a lot of friends around you who aren't showing up for you, who aren't supporting you, who aren't encouraging you and doing the things that you know you want, need and desire for them to do, then you need to go get yourself some strong motherfucking friends and some friends who gonna support you in the ways that you deserve and desire and need to be supported. Because it doesn't make sense for you to have a friend or a family member in your life who says that they love you and care about you and they're watching you suffer. They're watching you go through sickness, sadness and depression and they're not doing any fucking thing to help you through what you're going through. Yes, you may be motherfucking strong, but you're also human, goddammit, period. The strong friends need love too.